What's a dink? Dual income, no kids, and laboriously bragging about it online. Why is nobody talking about being dinks? Nobody talking about it. You never shut up about it. We're dinks. We're dinks. We're dinks. We're dinks. We're dinks. We're dinks. Here's a life as dinks in our early 30s. Early 30s, interesting. No shocker here, folks. Today we went to Costco. We don't have kids to feed, but we got lots of money to spend on goodies. Brian always checks out while I get a box, and then I sit here and look cute. Here's the haul, and her total was $252. Yeah, the shopping cart may be full, but the egg carton, on the other hand... No eggs. No. Empty egg carton. You don't have any eggs. You cannot tell me that grocery shopping and a fresh slice of Costco pizza isn't a good date night. I mean, you can tell me that, but I don't believe it. Obviously, we had car cookies for dessert, and yeah, I will probably just make this a series now, so follow along for more ding content. Because forget cradling your newborn, nurturing it through childhood, helping shape it into a wonderful human being, sitting content in your old age, knowing that you'll be cherished, loved, and cared for until the very end. Fuck that, when you can buy more Costco pizza and cookies instead. And a fresh slice of Costco pizza. We're dinks. We go to Trader Joe's and workout classes on the weekend. Wow, you go to a grocery store and exercise. Can't do that with kids, can you? We're dinks. We're already planning our European vacation next year. Could have done that. When you're literally 18. European vacation. Mm, my personality is travel. Dude, going on holiday isn't a personality. Dinks, we get a full eight hours of sleep. And sometimes more. <laughs> All the sleep in the world won't get them eggs back. No eggs. Dinks, we can play with other kids and give them back. <laughs> yeah, except when it matters, their kids will actually be there for them. You two, on the other hand. We're dinks. We're dinks. We're dinks. We're dinks. We still do it three times a week. Uh -huh. <laughs> Coomer. We're dinks. <laughs> Did you see his Coomer face? <laughs> We're dinks. We don't use our kids or dog as an excuse to leave a party. We just leave. <laughs> Bet they stay to the bitter end with all the other losers. We know why you don't want children. You are children. Clinging on to extended adolescence like there's no tomorrow. Because for them, genetically, there is no tomorrow. We're dinks. We have disposable income to spend on whatever we would like and don't have to spend on a kid. Oh no, it might harm my precious disposable income. The Rockefellers made having a kid economically impossible. Go take a look outside. You see any black people? What's it look like they're doing? Hmm? I'm serious. Yeah. Well, what's better, having... You sound, you sound like a fucking moron. It's economic. It's economically impossible. Go outside. There's, a, there's 50 black people with five kids each. Get to work. Stop. Stop thinking of imaginary excuse. Uh, if I go outside, or Tony Stark with Iron Man suits gonna <laughs> come down and zap me with space lasers? Shut up! Go fuck! Dinks out earn couples with kids by $9,000. $9,000 in return for destroying countless future generations and becoming a genetic dead end. Hope your $8 pumpkin spice latte was worth it. For dinks, we spend our discretionary income on $8 latte. Half the supposed benefits they list are always related to mindless consumption. We're dinks. We're going to go to Costco and buy all the snacks in bulk that we want. I think you've had enough snacks, mate. We're dinks. We're going to go to Costco and buy all the snacks we want. I can eat more. I can drink more. I can sit on my backside and watch more sports and Netflix. We're dinks. I'm gonna go to every football game. You know why I'm happy? Because today, I woke up at 11 a.m. And I was, I could just have a cappuccino and take it slow. Do you know why? Because I don't have kids. Consume! Don't ask questions. Just consume product and then get excited for next product. We're dinks. We're gonna get chastised by people on the internet because they're gonna assume that we're just obsessed with material things. Really? Whatever gave them that idea? Lots of money to spend on goodies. Here's the haul. Grocery shopping. Costco pizza. Car cookies for dessert. We're dinks. The only person I have to fight over snacks with is my wife. Snack, snack, snack. We're dinks. We're gonna go get late night ice cream whenever we want. Fucking hell. So you can shove more shite down your throat. How is that an achievement or a means to happiness? We're dinks. We're gonna get told by people with kids that they can do everything that we do as if we don't already know that. Wait, the whole point of these videos is you listing things that people with kids supposedly can't do. Incredible. We're dinks. We're gonna treat that dog like it's our child. Right, so you do want a child. You're just too lazy, irresponsible, and obsessed with snacks to make the commitment. Snacks. Remember the days before mountains of meaningless email? Remember the thrill of receiving a real letter in the real mail? Rediscover that nostalgic excitement with historic mail. A thoughtful gift for anyone who appreciates history and the lost art of letter writing. Well, what do we have here? It's nothing less than a letter from Franklin D. Roosevelt 
to good old Winston Churchill. Fascinating stuff if you're a World War II buff. The letter demonstrates the special relationship between these two iconic leaders. Check out this letter from Walt Disney to Richard Nixon. Historic mail is the perfect gift for history lovers. Learn about the fascinating inner lives of the world's greatest historical figures from the primary source itself. It's Walt Disney to President Nixon when he was vice president. And that's what the letter actually looked like. Yeah, that is so yeah, cool. Yeah, he was writing one to a TV show. He couldn't make it, but that's kind of cool, huh? Yeah, that's really, I really love cool. These. I love that. I yeah, love and he looked at the stamp. Like, you know, that's cute. It's just interesting to see this history. Yeah, and how authentic it is. That's really cool. Every week, a stamped envelope is delivered to your doorstep, containing a reproduction of a letter penned by a famous historical figure, supported by a document providing historical context and a typed version of the letter. Get 10 weekly letters for only $59.99. We'll get a whole 52 weeks worth of letters for an in-depth, personalised exploration through a specific period of history. Get letters from historical titans including George Washington, Abraham Lincoln, Nikola Tesla and Thomas Edison. Almost as if they came straight from their desk to yours. Personalise your gift with a special certificate featuring your name and the receiver's name on it. Just use the code PJW to get your 10% discount. Go to historicmail.com slash PJW to get your gifts now and help support support this channel. Now back to the video, if dinks were honest with themselves. We're dinks. We've been sucked into a death cult. We're dinks. We're putting our immediate hedonistic desires above our long-term genetic interests. We're dinks. We're part of a selection event and we've been selected out. We're dinks. We're coping with the fact that we're going to be failures as organisms. We're dinks. When we're older we're going to look back on our lives with a profound sense of regret. We're dinks. We're going to die cold, alone, and with no one in the world who loves us. We're dinks. When we die, we will leave no future and exist merely as economic units to consume products to conceal our existential crisis. Dinks. Having a kid is so expensive. No thanks. Also dinks. But even aside from the money issue, when they asked young people why they don't want kids, only 17% said it was for genuine financial reasons. 56% said it was because they just don't want to. A study by Pew Research Center found that 44% of non-parents aged 18 to 49 said they were not likely to have kids ever. That's up by 7% since 2018. They're literally terminating their own bloodlines just so they can briefly prolong their selfish, atomized avarice. We make fun of women for the no eggs thing, and we'll continue to do so. You don't have any eggs. But if anything, the men are even worse. Some are so cooked by their dink wives, they'll literally get their private parts mutilated. <laughs> A mate of mine did that, then his wife left him. Fellas, if you're ever considering settling down with a woman who says she never wants kids, do me a favour, turn around and run a hundred miles in the opposite direction. Saturday morning vloggers a dink couple. Boring, 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 boring. You really need some kids to liven that up a bit. So you got up ate food, drank coffee, and went food shopping. And that's it. Really selling this lifestyle, aren't they? There's so much cope on display, it's off the charts. If you're so happy with your perma-childless existence, why do you feel the need to constantly justify it to complete strangers on the internet? Is that where all the extra time not having kids is spent? Making smarmy, self-satisfied TikTok videos about how you're really happy. We're so happy, we're really happy. Never been happier. Do you believe me? Believe me. Thanks, we're gonna go to Costco and buy all the snacks in bulk that we want. Meanwhile, studies say being childless is linked to depression in both men and women. And infertility causes chronic anxiety. We're dinks. Having kids would force us to be introspective and examine why deep down we really hate ourselves. I love how they act like they're being all edgy, subversive, and self-empowering. We're dinks. We're gonna normalize that you can live a full and wonderful life even without kids. Society pushes you into thinking you haven't made it in life without kids and marriage. No, it doesn't. In white Western countries, it does literally the opposite. You're literally the product of an algorithm-driven social engineering campaign. Your entire outlook has been manufactured by systems of technocratic control that hate humanity. A weaponized anti-natalist psyop. Precision designed to encourage the exact behavior that you're exhibiting and claiming it's your own free will. But yeah, you're so cool and independent. You're so contrarian. No, you're not. You're the ultimate conformist. We're dinks. We're dinks. We're dinks. We're dinks. We're dinks. We're dinks. Get off the internet and have some kids, losers.
If you value what I do and you want to help support me, please visit pauljosephwatson.locals.com and either pledge a one-time donation or subscribe to join my community, get early access videos and message me directly. And exclusive live streams coming soon too. Promise. Check out the Locals link down in the description. And don't forget to take a look at the brand new website, modernity.news. That's where you'll find all my content, including exclusive articles. That's modernity.news. <laughs>